video just a quick tutorial on how I edit in Lightroom it's just a quick tutorial what I use um, the settings I use so yeah just a little quick tutorial a little bit about yesterday I went to a social networking event for creatives shout out to Sunny Studios if you're in Baltimore check it out I'd highly recommend it people came out from all over Pennsylvania Delaware you got all types of creatives from artists dancers people that paint, people that draw, you got fashion designers, people that crochet, the list goes on and on. Can't forget photographers and videographers, so just a networking event. The vibe, I can't even describe it, so a big shout out to everyone that put that event together. And yeah, follow me and watch how I work. Jumping right in, this is just um, me turning up the exposure. Just to turn up the exposure to separate the model from the background. Yeah, so as you can see, that just made the background pop a whole lot. Speaking of the model, this is Trish. Shout out to Trish. Believe it or not, this is her first time modeling someone else's work. Someone else's clothing. So big shout out to her. Show her love. I'm going to link her IG at the bottom. Also going to link the designers information at the bottom yeah so just adjust the settings from highlights to shadows to whites to exposure so then I turned up the vibrance a little bit just so that the colors can really pop from there I turned up the saturation a smidge I didn't want to overdo it I like keeping my editing fairly simple um, I like a nice clean simple not over edited look so I just add some sharpening just to make sure that it's sharp um, just to make sure that the details are seen as you can see zooming in just to make sure that I got all the details next I'm gonna add the brush tool so see that thing in the corner it's gonna get rid of that right there I think that was my guy Trey he was shooting next to me and I think I caught a bit of his sleeve on it so yeah the brush tool you just use it to really just make it pop even more to make the white pop even more um, so I love the fact that Lightroom leaves it red so you can see exactly where you're editing so I just went on and I brushed all around the model Trish show love to Trish that's the homie I uh, definitely can't wait to work with Trish in the future. Um, she killed it. She annihilated everything, every look. So did every model. Shout out to every model from yesterday. Um, but yeah, I just brushed. I brushed a little too much. I got into her hair. But we're going to correct that very soon. Um, so yep, you just adjust the settings. As soon as I just turned up the exposure, that got rid of the thing in the corner. And that just made the background pop so much more. So now you see how the model is really separated from the background. Um, so the, yeah, from there I just went on and I changed a bit more of the settings. Contrast, I turned it down just a little. Um, highlights, I know I turned up the highlights a smidge um, just to get the background to pop even more. But even right now, from the before to this point, it looks great. Um, so I, me being a Virgo, of course I'm a perfectionist, so we're gonna go on and just make sure that it pops even more before we adjust the hair. I don't know if you see it, there's like a bit of a highlight, it lost the color at the top of the hair. But not to worry, we're gonna go back in with the brush tool. So you're gonna grab your brush tool after this. So just turning up the whites, making sure it pops even more. Um, as you can see from here, we're going to grab the brush tool. Grab 
grab the brush tool and we're gonna add a new layer and we're gonna zoom in and just so you can see what I'm talking about see how I lost a bit of color I, I got brush happy so I went back and I readjusted I, I added the blacks back in Highlights were a bit too much, so as you can see, it's coming back. The details are coming back in Trisha's hair, as you can see. Yeah, and then from there, what I like to do is I just like to go in and get rid of any dots in the background. Um, there are a few, few dots in the background. So for that, I used the healing tool. I don't know if you can see it right there. Yeah, so for that, I just went and used the healing tool, which is the Band-Aid right there. Healing tool, boom. And I went ahead and selected. So the good thing about Lightroom is if you select It'll find something that's relatively close to that so that you can uh, mirror it. It doesn't always do a perfect job, but you can always adjust and move it to where you want it to be. See how that, that disappeared? And then the next dot that I found was right there. So again, click on the healing tool. Then I zoomed in, made it small clicked on it and then it selected the dress actually so that's not what I wanted to select so you just move it up a smidge and then it gets rid of that dot and then from there I went and I found another one so just getting rid of the dots in the background so I hope you get the gist of it um, it's not that hard of a process um, but let me know if I went too fast let me know if you have any questions again shout out to every model every photographer every videographer everyone that came out and everyone that even put it together every designer every entrepreneur it was a great time and yeah I can't wait for the next one people came from everywhere so if you're in the DMV definitely check out Sunny Studios um, yeah this is basically it um, and then here's just a before and after of both images yeah so thank you for watching please like comment subscribe and yeah I'll see you in the next one let me know what you want me to show you how to do next yeah i keep it pretty simple with my editing i don't like to over edit i'll probably add some images that i edited to the end of this as well so yeah stay tuned for that little slideshow